Hello everyone, I am Ricky and welcome to today's edition of The Mouse Bites. The Mouse Bites are your latest Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Universal Orlando news. Now we have big news about Walt Disney World transportation, but first things first, we are kicking things off with Disneyland news and that is the fact that Avengers Campus at Disney California Adventure has an official opening date and that opening date is... June 4th. We are so excited. Cannot wait to get to finally experience the attractions and the land and the food and the shopping. And did I mention the food? And it's going to be so exciting, especially since this land got pushed back due to COVID. It was actually supposed to open last July. So we are so excited to be able to finally get into this land. So what does Avengers Campus have for guests? Well, first things first is going to be the attraction called Web Slingers, a Spider-Man adventure. Now in this attraction, guests are actually going to be able to sling webs with Spider-Man, with Peter Parker himself at the Worldwide Engineering Brigade, also known as Web. Here, innovators like Peter Parker have been assembled by Tony Stark to invent new technologies and equip everyday people that would be us, to become superheroes. Now, Web Slingers is gonna be a family-friendly attraction that invites you to put your web slinging skills to the test as you shoot webs, courtesy of innovative technology that has been adapted especially for this attraction. How cool is that? Um, now, the second main attraction for this land is an attraction that's already been in existence, um, but it gets tied into this land now, finally, and it's Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Now, the attraction, of course, if you haven't been on it, sees guests helping Rocket bust his fellow Guardians of the Galaxy out of the Collector's Fortress with raucous mayhem, music from the film, a thrilling free fall drop, and, of course, six different storylines. Now, Avengers Campus is also going to have lots of different food options for you to choose from. At the PIM Test Kitchen, it's an innovative science lab, and just like Ant-Man and the Wasp use PIM particles to grow and shrink, this is also going to be applied to the food that you are eating. So there's gonna be shareable bites, inventive entrees, and sweet treats, uh, such as uh, the impossible plant-based large and micro meatballs with pasta, or the pimini, which is a panini served by the slice, or as a long multi-portion sandwich. There's also the Pim Tasting Lab, where you can order craft beers, ranging from blood orange to amber lagers, and uh, the, you can try one of the PIM Research Staff's PIM Particle-Infused Cocktail Experiments. Now, the Shawarma Palace is going to be another place where you can stop. This is going to be a shawarma food cart, so you can get shawarma wraps. And last but not least, uh, there is Terran Treats, which is a food cart that is near Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. Guests are going to be able to interact with their favorite Marvel heroes in unique ways. You may have heroic encounters with Iron Man, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Black Widow, Ant-Man, and the Wasp, and the Guardians of the Galaxy, and Thor, as well as Loki for the first time. Plus, you may even see Spider-Man swinging into action high above Avengers Campus with gravity-defying acrobatic feats that have never been seen before in a Disney theme park. In addition, at an a nearby ancient sanctum, Doctor Strange is going to train recruits in the mystic arts by bringing this ancient sanctum to life with powerful spells. Plus, at night, the area is going to glow even more vividly with majestic colors and lights that are pulsating with mystic energy. Now, of course, there's lots of merch that you can pick up. The Web Supplier Store is going to offer the latest in inventions, including interactive spider bots. These are actually going to be seen in the Web Slingers attraction. So um, that's actually what you're supposed to be collecting is the spider bots with your, you know, shooting off the webs. Uh, each spider bot has a remote control and all eight articulated legs move forward and backward. You can even customize your spider bot with tactical upgrades to harness the power of your favorite superheroes, including Black Panther, Iron Man, Black Widow, and Ant-Man and the Wasp. And there's even gonna be a specially designed backpack to carry your spider bots. This all sounds very familiar. Oh, that's right, they did this kind of similarly at the Droid Depot in Star Wars, or Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Uh, guests can also pick up things like Spider-Man light goggles, take home a spider web kit, and a fun co-pop vinyl figurine of Spider-Man or Iron Man. Over at Campus Supply Pod, you can pick up official Avengers Campus gear, including performance, free fleece hoodies, tees, headwear, drinkwear, and other superhero supplies. Now you're gonna wanna stay tuned to the Mouse Less as we learn more information about the upcoming uh, opening of Avengers Campus. Again, we cannot wait to experience it for ourselves. So make sure you follow along with us on our social media as well as here. Moving on to the news that's probably 
huge news for Walt Disney World fans, and that is because with the loss of Disney Magical Express, which is happening on January 1st, guests have been asking the ever-important question, how am I going to get from the Orlando International Airport to the Walt Disney World Resort? Well, that has been answered today thanks to Mirrors. So Mirrors has shared a brand new way that is coming for guests to get around to the resorts. And this is Mirrors Connect, which is gonna debut in January, 2022. Its goal will be connecting airport and uh, Disney Resort area hotels with the same reliable, safe express service that guests expected. It's actually because Mirrors was the one who actually ran Disney's Magical Express, for those who don't know. So they've already been doing this. They just have been doing it under the Disney banner. Now with Mirrors Connect, guests will likely be able to schedule their service, luggage handling, and return trips from resorts to the airport. In addition, Mirrors will also offer enhancements to ensure greater convenience and vehicle options. Now the service has not officially debuted. It's going to start making, uh, run a, you can start making reservations beginning on May, in May, 2021. And at that time, pricing will probably be shared as well as how you can launch your custom reservations. So how you can actually make those. Guests can sign up on their website to learn more and we have the link on the mouse for less. We'll share those details about the upcoming Mirrors Connect service as we learn those as well. That's gonna do it for all the news that I have for you today. Make sure you follow along with The Mouse for Less on all of our social sites. So you have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. You wanna stay as up to date as possible, and that's where you're gonna be able to do it. Also, you can subscribe to our newsletter. We have two different newsletters that go out. You can do that by clicking the newsletter button at the top of the page on The Mouse for Less, and uh, you can get one or both newsletters in your inbox. So that's exciting news too. If you wanna book a trip to see potentially a vendor's campus, now of course, right now you have to be a California resident, unfortunately. Uh, but uh, if you also want to be able to find out more information about booking a trip to Walt Disney World, maybe you want to experience Mirrors Connect, then visit our friends at The Magic for Less Travel. They would be more than happy to get you a free, no obligation quote. Just visit them at themagicforless.com. That's going to do it for me today. We will see you the next time on The Mouse Bites. Have a great day, everyone.